When I made the build video of this bike, many of you commented, hey man, where's the ride video? Well, shortly after building this bike, I learned a very important lesson. Why to individually charge your batteries when charging them for the first time. To some of you watching this, why to individually charge your cells for the first time is pretty obvious. To others, it's not so obvious. I mean, don't I have a battery management system right here connected? Well, yeah, I do. But the problem is the battery management system cannot balance cells as fast as the charger can charge them. This BMS is only capable of balancing a cell at 2 amps, where my charger was capable of charging at 10 amps. And as you can see, I have no communication wires between here and the charger. As far as the charger is concerned, this doesn't exist. And as far as this is concerned, the charger doesn't exist. So they can't communicate when one cell is far overcharged. Thus, what happened to me was this. An incredibly swelled up battery pack. Now, you guys know I like lithium phosphate batteries. I'm not a big fan of lithium ion or lithium polymer for electric motorcycle applications due to their flammability. Thus, if this were a lithium ion or a lithium polymer battery, I would not be holding it. Because this is a prismatic cell. This casing, this is a casing around this of solid aluminum. That's a lot of pressure to do that. I can't even squeeze that battery. It might as well be solid. There's so much gas pressure in it. And this happened because this battery happened to be a slightly higher charge than the other batteries in the bike. And, well, I took it for a nice long ride, brought it back, charged it up, and this one went over voltage and puff. So, how do you individually charge batteries? Well, it's pretty simple. You, you can even do them with, when they're installed just like this. As you can see, I've got a couple of power supplies here. These are just basic benchtop power supplies. You don't even need a battery charger. All you really need is a power supply with a fixed voltage. And, hopefully, you'll be able to hear me over the cooling fans. But... So this battery charger here, I actually replaced three cells in this bike because I found two that were beginning to swell up and I didn't really feel comfortable using them just because I didn't want to feel like stranded somewhere in case they did go bad. So this one's connected to two uh, batteries in series and this one's connected to one of the single cells that I replaced. So their voltages are a little bit different. So of course this power supply, as good as it looks, it's absolute garbage. So, um, Wow, I'm really surprised. The uh, voltage usually fluctuates all over the place, and so does the amperage, because, I don't know, it's, it's absolutely terrible. But, as you can see, I've got it set to 4.2 volts. That's the maximum voltage per cell at, on a lithium iron phosphate. Now, granted, I could bring that down to, say, 3.7 or 3.8, which is still what most would consider fully charged, but um, I don't want to wait here as this thing charges it in the several milliamps because that's an 85 amp hour battery. So I'll let it get to full voltage, that is 4.2 volts, and let the battery management system discharge it back down to 3.65, which is the proper voltage. Now this one, it's just two in series, and the voltage here is a little bit higher. Okay, as you can see, uh, I've got it set right here at 7.7 .7 volts and I'm charging at 4.7 amps. Now the truth is that's actually set at 8.2 volts. Um, you know, and the reason 8.2, you know, uh, 4.2 times 2 is 8.4, well I don't want to overcharge the batteries. I know one is going to be significantly, or possibly, be significantly stronger than the other cell. So, you know, I want to be sure the BMS system can kind of catch up as these batteries come to normal. So, in general, uh, if you're going to charge two in parallel, about 8 volts is okay, so long as you have a BMS system uh, in the middle of it. Uh, but individually, you can go right to full voltage and you're okay. But, yeah, so uh, there will be a build video, or excuse me, a ride video on this bike. Uh, whenever I'm done making sure all of these batteries are at full charge, uh, and then we can see what the real capability of this bike is. So, until next time, I'm Alex Grieve, and this is Higher Voltage.